Hi guys, it's our last full day in the city. So today we're gonna go exploring the town of Triana. We're gonna go over the river and see what there is over there. It's quite dull today with the weather. It's kind of, it's kind of heavy, but there's a lot of people around. There's a great atmosphere still. So we're looking forward to checking it out. Yeah, we're walking around all the shopping streets as well. The shopping scene looks amazing over here. There's so many shops and the shops that we don't have where we live, like loads of unique ones. It's a really nice place to stroll around. We don't have much planned for today, which is, we like having a day like this in a city where you can just kind of soak up the atmosphere, do a bit of people watching. Get lost and see what happens. Yeah, you get a sense of the city. Just before we crossed the bridge to Triana, we found Mercado Lonja del Barranco. Was good. I remembered it. <laughs> Which is a food market, and there's loads of different types of foods in here. Yeah, I think it's a former fish market that they've converted into this gourmet food market. So we might have lunch here. We're gonna have a quick look now, and then probably come back later. is this i'm so glad we so, found this place oh so nice this food looks incredible there's a huge selection of food and it all looks really good we've gone for chicken teriyaki spinach and asparagus and a tuna with vegetables and it's all like pastries so yeah these look lovely we're just gonna taste each other's have a little pick and mix <laughs> We might even go back in there in a bit and get some more food. It looks amazing. I really like the way it's done out as well. It's all lit up beautifully. There's like plants hanging, fairy lights. It's done out really nice and it's right opposite the river. So this whole area is stunning. So that was a really cool place to check out and eat, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. It's open every day of the week, apart from Mondays, from 1 p.m. till 1 a.m. And I was thinking that it's a really good place to go if you're with a group of people and maybe like one of you is a fussy eater or you're not agreeing on where to eat because there's a huge selection there and there's loads of tables and chairs inside and outside. So it'd be great for you all to pick what you want and then all just sit in the middle. And there's a cool little bar here over next to the river as well. So you can get some nice seating and looking out over the river. And yeah. Loads of drinks. Looks like a cool area. So this is a really cool spot. You can see the river here and there's loads of colourful houses over there. But you can see loads of people are crossing the river over to Triana, so it must be a really cool spot. Oh my God, I'm getting off this bridge. Every time a big bus drives on here, the whole bridge shakes. <laughs> so which way should we head? Let's go this way. This is all Triana but the Google Maps has taken us more directly up this way, so I think this is one of the main streets. Yeah, cool, let's check it out. So it feels a lot more here, like this is where all the locals hang out. Inside, in the main city in Seville, it feels like kind of touristy, and like yesterday, it was pretty much all tourists, to be fair. But this actually feels like where all the locals hang out, have like cups of tea, have an espresso. <laughs> Triana was lovely, it's really pretty with the colourful houses and stuff but we did decide to walk back over the bridge to this area because it seems to have a bit more atmosphere over here. Over that side of the bridge there's just cafes really, tapas bars and stuff so it looks like there's more going on over here. And over here as well there's a nice little pathway going the whole way along by the side of the river and there's a lot of people either cycling or running or just scooting around on the little scooters. It just seems to be taking it all in. It's really nice and relaxing there. And you get a really nice view of the bridge from over here and you can see all the colourful houses. So it's a really nice place to take some photos. Okay, so it is 
free to go on if you're less than five years old between six and ten years old is three euros for adults six euros i'm guessing you just go on the ship and have a little look but seems pricey enough isn't it that just have a little look i can have a look from here for free <laughs> So if you want to, there's a boat ride that goes all the way up the river and all the way back down, taking in a few of the sites. And it's 18 euro each for an hour, I believe. And you can get your tickets here in the information desk next to Torre del Oro. So we've just found this amazing cocktail bar, but they actually have more herbal teas than cocktails, which that's right up my street. So we're going to sit down and enjoy a nice cup of tea. a lovely place to chill out and have a cup of tea that place was called premier garden cocktail bar i'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to check it out we're right next to the plaza de España, so this is kind of in the center but i feel like it's a little hidden gem it wasn't that busy but it was gorgeous you'd expect more people there yeah there's loads of trees around there was a pond the birds were singing but they were playing some cool tunes really nice really nice atmosphere relaxed it? and kind of we're both feeling a little zen now which is nice we are feeling zen but i'm gonna hype it up a bit and do some shopping mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we might be shopping for a few hours so i won't be filming that because who wants to watch me shopping so thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog i really hope you've enjoyed it i hope i gave you a few ideas of things you can do in Seville. So if you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And tune in next week to see what we get up to tomorrow, which is quite fun. Yeah. That's really all fun. we're going to say. It's fun. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.